A couple of years ago, um, a, a guy called Charlie Campbell, uh, who is a, a literary agent, decided that he wanted to revive a team called The Authors, which was a Victorian uh, team. J.M. Barry and Arthur Conan Doyle had been a part of it. So he got together various literary types and me. I have written some things which I think just about qualified me as an author. Um, and also historically, the authors in Victorian times used to play. They had a big showdown match against the actors at Lords every, every year. So I was the sort of token actor as well. And sure enough, you know, we lined up some really, really beautiful fixtures uh, and I was able to play a few last year, got a cap, which is the most exciting bit for me as an actor, a bit of costume. And um, we had a really, really you know, good time. Didn't win all that much, but um, you know, I think uh, the spirit of the authors has been revived and they're still going strong. We beat Japan the other day, so apparently we're now 37th in the world. Dan is kept away from the team by a busy filming schedule, most recently by his latest release, Summer in February. The film is set in an artist colony in Cornwall in 1913. Uh, which is a world away in, in many ways from the world of something like Downton Abbey, which is a similar period. So we start with this roguish uh, artist at the centre, Alfred Munnings, who really was man of the moment, uh, life and soul of the party, and his best friend Gilbert Evans. And into their midst walks this extraordinary beauty, this mysterious girl who's fleeing London. And both men fall hopelessly in love with her. She falls curiously in love with both of them and can't quite decide and probably makes the wrong decision. Florence, there's something I want to ask you. Yes? What earth are you doing mooning about out here? Come on. Will you marry me? But the release of Summer in February sadly doesn't mean Dan can put his feet up and watch the ashes this summer. I'm hoping to make it back for the for the fifth test at the Oval, but I'm sadly going to be in America for the for the first four, which is deeply frustrating and has been frustrating for most of this year, not being able to follow both England and the authors, um, their, their successes. But uh, I'm hoping for a, for a good summer. I think it's, um, they don't look that great, do they, the Aussies? What about a prediction? In the spirit of Glenn McGrath, I'll say 5-0 to England. <laughs>